right, so today we're going to be looking at light blocks. And you'll see underneath there I'm holding a light block and it has a little 15, 10, 5, and 0. So different kind of brightnesses. And light blocks can be used pretty much anywhere, but I'm going to go into a really dark place and show you how we can use those, and then I'll show you how to get them. So let's get started. So this is pretty dark, as you can see, and I'm going to go over to my brightest one, and just right on the ground, I'm going to place it. And you notice as I back away, you'll see the light actually shows kind of in that circle, and then spreads out a little further. But it's still dark over here, so I can go to a new spot and do the same thing. And so now, notice how much it brightens up the area can also put them on ceilings or walls here. So I'll pick one more spot. There we go. And so now we've brightened up this place without putting any lights in there. So you're probably wondering, well, wait a second. How do I turn them off? And also, can I build on top of them? So let's first now go to our light block that's a zero. And let's make sure. Oh, there we go. Turn that off, and then how do I know the right spot here? You can kind of tell there's a circle there, and so when I do it right in the side, the middle of the circle, it shows that. And the same thing here. Let me go a little bit above it, so you can see there's a circle showing how it's kind of spreading from that one spot. I click on the zero, and there it is. So that's how you would do that. Let's go uh, looking at what it what it might look like for a five on the ground there, and. 10. Okay, 5 didn't do much to 10, and then we'll back away and I'll show you the 15 just to kind of show you the differences. So there are some, and last but not least, let's show you if you can build on top of them. So I'm just going to grab this cobblestone, and notice I have lots of places. Remember, this is kind of the center where that light is. And look, I build right on top of it it kind of squashes the light, okay? So, you know, building on walls is kind of nice to be able to do that, but if you if you build right on top of the, the light itself, it will squash it. Now, you can also show how it's kind of deflecting the light. Again, building on top of it kind of closes and squashes it. Uh, so I wanted to show you that. Now I'm going to go out into a brighter spot to show you how I got all of these. And so you'll see at the bottom I have 0, 5, 10, and then 15. So how do I get those? I'm going to use the slash command, and then I'm going to do give, and then I'm going to give myself, so that's at s space, and now I'm going to type in light block. Then as far as your mount, it doesn't matter if you're in creative mode, you just do however many your mount. And then the data they're looking for is how much ambience you want. So let's say I try another number, because I already showed you 0, 5, 10, and 15. Let's try 20 and see what happens. Okay. Nothing really happens. Let's clear my inventory. Show that again. And I'm going to bring it back up. I don't know if you know this with slash commands, but if you just press the arrow up key, it will show you your last commands. So there's a light block, and let's do 10. And there's my 10. Flash command, let's try 12 and see what happens. Okay, so notice it does get a little bit brighter with each one. Let's go back and let's try 18, see what happens. Okay, notice the highest it's gonna go to 15, and I'll do it again, and I'll do a zero to kind of um, turn off the light, or you can use a block. And there it is. And you can see as I'm holding it, it kind of shows how much brightness just in that light bulb itself. So that's how you get light blocks, and that's how you can use them. Use them anywhere you want, um, you know, and just have fun and enjoy that to, to brighten up some places that may be a little bit darker without putting lights there.